Hi Virgo and welcome to your What's Coming Towards You reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant, for, formerly known as the Dream Medium. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Let's see what's coming towards you. What's coming towards Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising? What is coming towards Virgo? All right, so you have the star. What is coming towards Virgo? Ace of Swords. What is coming towards Virgo? Oh, you have a reunion as well. Okay. I just did Taurus reading and they have a reunion. Okay. Six of Cups. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. You have the Ten of Swords that's here. Okay. Clarify the star. Clarify the star. Clarify the star. Clarify the star. Four of Pentacles. Clarify the star. Clarify the star. So the star here, this is all about um, getting what you want, you know, getting wish fulfillment. The star also represents manifestation. Three of Swords, Seven of Swords. Hmm. by the star clarify this um, seven of swords okay someone's here okay I just have to say it I just have to say it someone here is in a relationship but they're 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 thinking about leaving um but this is giving me like cheating vibes okay like the energy of this person it's like i'm in a relationship with one person but i'm manifesting another individual and literally on the back of the deck you have the queen of cups okay um in my reading in my reading, whenever there is another woman um, or another person, these cards are not gender specific, you guys. They're energies that anyone can embody. But whenever there's like a third party or the other woman, the other guy, right? Usually they come out as the queen of cups. So I feel like this individual, a Virgo, I feel like this person is currently in a relationship but they're and I'm I'm lightly laughing not at you not at the situation but I'm laughing because this person is literally with someone but they're thinking about you they're manifesting you that's why in the beginning I kept on clarifying because I'm like someone here is cheating this is cheating that's going on sort of is it, I would say this is cheating or emotional cheating because with the star, they're literally manifesting you. I mean, this person is like praying, hoping, wishing to be with you. And then you have the four of pentacles, which is someone who's not letting go, someone who's holding on tightly to someone or something. So this person is very, um, very protective of you. They're very possessive as well. They're very stingy, I feel, when it comes to you. They don't want to let you go, but they're also with another person currently. You have the Three of Swords that's here, which represents heartbreak. Yeah, this individual, they are cheating on their partner. Even if they're not directly dealing with you it is considered cheating i mean they're literally the three of swords is here you see the three swords in in the heart someone is about to get heart broke heart broken you even have the seven of swords which is literally someone who's cheating lying just doing something sneaky and trying to get away with it um i want to know why this three of swords is here clarify the three of swords 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 clarify the 
purify the three of swords. Six of Pentacles, clarify the Three of Swords, clarify Three of Swords, clarify this Three of Swords. Look what's on the back, you guys. I knew it. I knew what I was seeing, what I was hearing, what I was feeling. Three of Pentacles is here, okay? This individual there was a love triangle. The three of pentacles is a big, is a big third party card. Okay. Cause you literally see this outsider standing on a stool, pointing a flashlight at this couple. Absolutely. This was a third party situation and we're clarifying the three of swords. So look at the, you know, it's so clear. Look at the threes. Someone here was being the, the six of pentacles came out, which is, um, the six of pentacles represents balance needing to be restored. There was a lack of balance in this connection. There was an equal give and take because this individual was juggling two relationships. Okay, nine of cups is even here. This person was being very selfish. I tend to see the nine of cups as someone who's greedy, self-indulgent. It's all about what makes them feel good and they don't consider how their actions affects other people. And this makes perfect sense because I feel like the, the individual who they're, they are currently with is very hurt over this. Even though they haven't officially broken up with this person, I'm pretty sure they can tell that their heart isn't really in it and that they're calling out for another person. You have the Seven of Swords that's here. Seven of Swords, yeah. Sneaky habits, sneaky individual, someone who's cheating, lying. Then you even have the Ten of Pentacles. This individual they their heart is calling out for another person and i feel like this is you unless you're dealing with someone who's doing this to you um but i feel like for most of you you are their ten of pentacles okay you are the the ten of pentacles you want the ten of pentacles to come out in a love reading because the ten of pentacles first of all pentacles represents abundance and the maximum of pentacles is 10 you have all 10 here representing the connection the ten of pentacles says that you and this person are guaranteed um not just a long-term relationship but also an abundant relationship. So the Ten of Pentacles guarantees a long-term commitment that is going to be abundant, that is guaranteed to be abundant. This is all about having a future with each other, marriage, children. This is what you ideally want, um, or this is what they ideally want with you. And they know that it's, it's, it's possible to have that with you, much more possible with you than the other person. And that's why they're here being very unfaithful. You have the sun, so the sun represents happiness, fulfillment, growth, um, expansion. This could also represent someone who is in love. You even have the four of swords. Yeah, this person is in love with you because with the four of swords, they're mentally exhausted over you. I feel like they've been thinking a lot. They've been thinking about you a lot. Ace of Pentacles is here. I also see marriage in this card. This person, they don't want something casual with you. They want more. They want to take things to the next level with you, but they have they know that they have to leave another relationship behind. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Five of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Swords, judgment, seven of wands. Yeah, there's a lot of um there's a lot of regrets here, Virgo, because this individual with the ace of swords, the ace of swords is all about clarity, someone who has seen the truth. They regret not choosing you. It's like in their head, they're literally thinking, I wish I knew better. I wish I knew better. I wish I did things differently. I wish I chose Virgo. Um, because 
whoever it is that they're with, there's some sort of nasty, I'm even hearing, hearing a divorce, man. It's like, there's some sort of nasty breakup that's going on between them and this other individual. They may have been married to them or they were just in a commitment or not commitment because this person is not committal, at least not to this past person, but they were in some sort of long-term situation with this past person. And this breakup, this separation is a very nasty breakup here. You see five people fighting amongst themselves. So there's a lot of regrets here. You even have the world. The world represents completion. This individual is completing cycles, past cycles, leaving the past behind in order to have a new beginning with you. And you have judgment. Yeah, this person, they just feel like they're seeing everything clearly now. They're seeing the truth in this situation, but they wish that they didn't, that it didn't take this long in order for them to see the truth. To them, the judgment is here. They feel like they are passing the right judgments on this this particular individual who they were with. They feel like they're just seeing things better, seeing things more clearly. They're seeing the truth in this situation and they feel like they're making the right decision by leaving this individual behind. But I do feel like this, this, your person, you know, they're, they're here as the seven of wands. So the seven of wands represents someone who is having to defend themselves, someone who feels attacked, you know, feeling like it's them against the world, because you even look here, five of wands, there's some sort of messy breakup here. And your person really feels like they have to stand their ground. Um, so you have the Page of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles being paired with the Six of Cups and the Ten of Swords. The Page of Pentacles is good communication. This is communication that's meant to move things forward. Um, sometimes the Page of Pentacles can be an individual who is breadcrumbing you, but they will be coming in to give you some sort of communication. This could even be a love offer. This could be an explanation for why they did what they did, an apology of some sort. But whatever this message is, is they have good intentions and they want things to move forward between the two of you. In Clarity of the Page of Pentacles, you have the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups represents a reunion. They do want to reconcile. Um, let's look at this Ten of Swords, though. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Oh yeah, you see this person got some sort of karma for what they did to you. The Wheel of Fortune is a karmic wheel. It says what goes around comes back around. Okay, so this individual may have betrayed you in the past and look, they got the ultimate betrayal as well. That's their karma here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Something really backfired in their face because I see them being very regretful about not choosing you first. So Virgo, thank you guys so much for watching. Please take what resonates and leave what does not because this is a general reading. If you're interested in a private reading, please click the description box and follow that link. Um, be careful because there are scammers here who are impersonating tarot card reading channels. Um, like I said, you know, the link to my website is only provided in the description box of my videos. I only have YouTube. I don't have any other social medias. Um, so yeah, you guys also please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Please take care. All right. Be safe.